sounds good. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a 2021 Ford F-150 STX, but the most important part of this truck is it has the five liter V8. So first and foremost, a huge shout out and thank you to Ed Kenley Ford for giving me some time with this truck. Check out the inventory in the link below. Let's get straight into the video. Under the hood of the F-150 STX, we have a naturally aspirated 5-liter V8 that goes through a 10-speed automatic transmission, fuel economy 16 around town, and then 22 on the highway, with power outputs being 400 horsepower and then 410 pound-feet of torque. Now let's go over the front end of the F-150 STX. So you guys can see that we've got Ford's new hood here at the top. And then you guys can see just down below, we've got the full halogen bulbs here at the front of the STX. And then you've got the body painted grill with the blacked out portion there in the center. You've got the blacked out tow hooks at the bottom with the fog lights as well. And then the bumper's also body painted. And if you guys are wondering the difference in terms of the front end, here are some uh, old body style F-150s. So you guys can kind of see the difference with the front end on the trucks. But that is the front end on the STX. Now coming on the side here, we've got two 75 millimeter tires wrapped around 20 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well. And I absolutely love the wheels on the STX. They're really premium looking. I mean, remember, this is kind of like your entry level truck and it just has a really nice design there for the wheels. And then here's a quick look at the front suspension here with the truck. And then I love how they do the body molding here to make it look like fender flares. Just makes the truck look a little bit wider and a little bit more aggressive. And then you got the F-150 venting there on the side. All blacked out mirrors. And then notice the door handles are also black. So it kind of creates some contrast with this bigger the truck because it's finished in white but there is your full side view Now let's go over the rear end of the STX. So first and foremost, you guys can see that we've got the little measuring table cover here on the tailgate. Now this particular truck doesn't have a bed liner, but it's pretty easy to add it after the fact. And then you can see you've got all the areas where you can tie down stuff with the cargo tie down hook system. And then in terms of the payload, it's about 1,880 pounds. So it's a pretty solid payload for a half ton. And then you guys can finally see the little bed step system here. So you just step on this, grab that little handle right there, makes getting into the bed a whole lot easier. Let's go over the rest of the rear of the trucks. So you guys can see you've got the regular logos there on the back with the Ford and the F-150. And then you can see you've got the traditional taillights here in the rear. No LED lights or anything like that. And then you got the STX 4x4 badge right there. You do get parking sensors here at the bottom portion of the bumper and they are body painted. And then if you guys are wondering, towing capacity with the 50 V8, it's about 8,200 pounds with this particular configuration. And there's the rear end. Now here's the door panel on the rear of the F-150 STX. You guys can see you've got soft touch here all along the door panel. And then this trim right here is actually really nice to look at. And then you've got Ford's little door handle. And then I love the trim they do here at the top. It doesn't necessarily feel the nicest, but it looks very nice. And then you've got the seats here in the rear. So you can see mostly gray cloth here with the seats. Um, you've got kind of like the lighter gray and then you've got the darker gray just down below. And then yes, you can pick up seats for some extra storage. You got some floor mats just down below. And then we've got some cup holders here at the top. And then just down below, you've got some vents right there with a 12 volt. And then you can see under here, you've got a, another little area with some USBs as well, which I mean, a bunch of little charging areas for a base model truck. But with that all being said, let's actually pop in. So stepping in, oof. Without side steps, you got to step up uh, pretty high. If you guys are around 5'11", I've got a good amount of headroom. And then legroom is pretty solid back here as well. And that's the back of the STX. Now here's the door panel on the front of the STX. So again, you can see that you've got all the soft touch, you're gonna rest your arm, and then you've got the dark gray material right in front of it, and then the really cool trim all along. All of your window controls, your mirror adjustments, all that kind of stuff. And then here are the seats at the front. So again, you've got the dark gray cloth there with a little bit of the lighter gray um, on certain portions. And then you can see the seats are manually adjustable. Your pedal layout is just in this little area, and then you can see you've got your parking brake right here, some light controls just above. You've got the mirror lights as well. The steering wheel is manually adjustable. And there's one more look before we actually pop in. Here's the steering wheel with the F-150. Obviously this is kind of like your baseline steering wheel, but it still looks really good. You've got your controls for the center, your phone controls, all that kind of stuff. 
volume controls, voice command controls over here with your cruise control as well. I really like the trim right there in that little area. And then you do have the stock for the turn signal and then the windshield wipers as well. And then over here, you do have the column shifter, which it has really good actuation. I just love like how easy it is to get it into gears. And then the M is just for the manual mode. And then those are the little gear shifts. When you are into the manual mode, you can shift the gears yourself. But yeah, the overall actuation on it just feels really good. But that is the steering wheel with the F-150. Now here's the rest of the center gauge cluster. You can see you've got RPMs over on the left side. On the right side, you've got the speed. And then you do have that little center screen, which will just give you different bits of information on the truck itself. Nothing too crazy, but the fact that this is a base model truck, I think it's pretty cool that this screen is as nice looking as it actually is. And then you can pull up the little menu right there. The one thing I did notice is the screen is a little bit on the laggy side. Um, in the Platinums and like the higher up packages, the screen seems to respond a lot quicker um, compared to this baseline truck. So we have the whole center infotainment system right over here. You guys are running the controls here at the top. You have the auto stop start. I know it's kind of hard to see. The camera system. And then you've got this for the hazard lights and the stability control on the far side. First off, we'll pop the camera system on. So you can see it just pops up with the backup camera. But also if you pop the truck into reverse... That also pops with the backup camera, but the only difference is when you have the truck in reverse, you can zoom in. Whereas if you guys probably noticed when I press the little camera button here, I can't zoom in. So there's a difference with that. Now with the rest of the infotainment system, I really like the size of this. I feel like it's the perfect size and response time is really solid on it. It's about the same as the 2020 trucks in terms of the response time and the look of it's relatively similar. I do like this new features tab though. I think it's pretty cool that it just gives you like a shortcut. So you can go like the driver's assistance, for example, and you can see all the safety tech this truck comes with. So you get the lane keep assist, the pre-collision, obviously the backup camera with the parking sensors. But I mean, for being a base model truck and having that much safety tech, I feel like that's really good just down below the infotainment system you can see that we've got the volume controls there at the top and then we've got the climate controls here it is a single zone climate trailer brakes are already integrated with the truck and then you can see we've got our two wheel high four wheel high four wheel low and then you've got that locker with the drive mode select we'll go over the drive mode select in just a moment and then over here we've got a little area where we can charge more devices which i think is pretty cool but this is my favorite we have again more usbs you've got like usbs literally everywhere in this truck and then a little phone holder but with the drive mode select, that'll actually pop up here in the center screen. So you just twist the dial and you can see there's a couple different drive modes. So you've got your normal, you've got your slippery, and then we skipped past one, deep sand and snow, mud and ruts. And then if we switch over to the other side, we've got our tow haul, eco, and then sport. Again, for being a base model truck, it's pretty cool. They give you all these different drive modes. And here's the rest of the center console area. So you've got some storage here where they would have the shifter. And then you've got a couple cup holders. And then you've got the center console, which has nice stitching there on the top. Opening it up, it's absolutely massive. Tons of storage space. Not an issue with that. And then coming over the glove box, you still get the dual glove box. So you press the little button. That opens up that part. And then you pull down the glove box like this. A lot of base model trucks, they won't give you like a lid for the top glove box. So it's cool that Ford does that. They have nice trim on the outside and then you can see you've got nice trim there on the dash as well. So up top here we do have a sunglass holder and yeah pretty straightforward with the use on that and the observant viewer probably noticed that there's no control for the power sliding window and that's because this truck doesn't have a power sliding window but it does have a darker colored headliner which matches with the rest of the truck and that's pretty cool. Now that we're done going to the interior on this F-150 STX with the 5 liter V8, let's quickly get into the pricing. So in terms of pricing, this truck stickers for about $49,000 before any type of market adjustment. And when I say about $49,000, it is literally $49,000 on the dot, not a penny more, not a penny less. That all being said, let's take this truck out and see how the 5 liter V8 performs. Well, let's quick talk about visibility before we set off here in this F-150 STX. So first and foremost, visibility of the hoods, just like any other F-150. And I love this material here on the dash. It just looks really cool. There's your visibility through both the mirrors and they are heated. And there's your other mirror. And then here's all throughout the rest of the rear. So visibility in the truck's really good. I mean, it's kind of expected. Most half-ton trucks have good visibility and let's set off so we are initially setting off here in the f-150 stx with the 5 liter v8 and first and foremost let's talk about the road noise and the ride quality and then also the engine noise as well so from a ride quality perspective 
It rides the same as all the other new F-150s that I've driven that have the 3.5 EcoBoost. It rides just as smooth. This truck definitely feels a lot more refined than the previous generation. And I actually purposefully drove my Raptor up here today so that I could kind of, obviously the Raptor's in its whole league of its own, but so I could at least kind of see the ride quality difference uh, back to back. But yeah, super, super smooth. Definitely kind of has that like luxury truck feel and the brakes are really good. The actuation on them is really nice with this truck. And then let's actually pop it over into the sport mode for our acceleration that we're gonna get up here in just a moment. Uh, but yeah, so far, definitely kind of feels more like on the luxury side. And this five liter V8 is really torquey actually. So the 3.5 EcoBoost now is 500 pound feet of torque where this is 410, um, but this still is a good amount of torque. And because it's not turbocharged and it's naturally aspirated, you get the torque right off the line pretty much, whereas you have to wait for the turbos in the 3.5. So this definitely feels just a little bit more responsive with the throttle. Now I am gonna create a little bit of space here between me and this other car so we can kind of see what the acceleration actually feels like. Ooh, that sounds good. Wow, that sounds really good. And let's kind of see how, let's put it into the manual mode and see how the uh, little gear shifts are. Yeah, so it kind of feels, <laughs> I'll be honest, it kind of feels awkward to uh, manually shift from a column shifter. It's definitely a different experience, um, but it's, it's relatively responsive. I feel like it's better in automatic mode though. Oh my goodness, that sounds so good. Oh my God, I, I just, I can't even talk. Like the sound of this engine, and this is stock. Again, remember, this is like a base model truck, bone stock, nothing added to it, no exhaust, and it sounds that good. Oh my goodness. I love this truck. <laughs> I love this engine. Um, from a power perspective, it's weird. So you guys know I've reviewed a ton of the Ram 1500s with the 5.7 Hemi. This feels stronger than the Hemi. The power figures don't suggest that because they both have the same amount of torque and their horsepower is literally five different. You've got 400 here, you've got 395 on the Ram, but this just feels peppier. Um, I'm thinking maybe because the F-150 does weigh a little bit less. Um, obviously that is kind of gonna make this feel a little bit faster, but yeah, this engine feels so strong and it sounds so good. Like I thought I really liked the sound of Ram's um, 5.7 Hemi and that's still a really good sounding engine. But this, it just has so much character. Like, it's like something, once you get above like the 2,500 RPMs, it's like something opens up and it just turns into like, just listen. Like, I don't know how you could not love that. Like that is the best sounding truck. Oh my goodness, I just, yeah, I am speechless at this point. This truck is just absolutely fantastic. And let's get into selling things up with this STX with the five liter V8. So first off, from an exterior appearance perspective, I think the STX is a really good looking package, especially for a baseline truck. The wheels too, like it just looks really good. And then from an interior perspective, again, for being a baseline kind of like work truck basically, I think it's really good on the interior. And let's get into the performance. So. Once you actually get into it, it's not as quick as the 3.5 EcoBoost, I can tell you that, but it's really strong. Like, if you never drove the 3.5 EcoBoost and you got into this truck, you would never be disappointed. Like, you would feel like this is a really strong, powerful truck, and the biggest thing is that sound. Like, this is by far, like in my opinion, for like a stock truck, this is the best sounding V8 that you can get in the market right now. I absolutely love it. So, if you're looking at a Ford F-150, Go and drive the 5.0 V8 before you end up getting the 3.5, just saying. Now that is gonna sum things up with our video on this 2021 Ford F-150 XTX with the five liter V8. And again, a huge shout out and thank you to Ed Kenley Ford for giving me some time with this STX. Check out their inventory in the link below. I'll see all of you in the next video.